Hello NFI, it is Thursday the 6th of August 2020. There is a list of sandwiches on Wikipedia. Let's make some of them. I'm going to put all the links and recipes I've used in the description. The baked bean sandwich is a sandwich composed of baked beans between two slices of bread, which may include garnish such as lettuce and toppings such as mayonnaise or ketchup. Many early recipes describe essentially the same product that has become popular today, however in addition they incite elaborate additions of garnish and dressing. I should have probably used more baked beans, but other than that, it's baked beans. I love baked beans. Mm. Banh mi is the Vietnamese word for bread. In Vietnamese cuisine, it also refers to a type of short baguette with thin, crisp crust and soft, airy texture inside that is often split lengthwise and filled with various savoury ingredients as a sandwich and served as a meal. A typical Vietnamese sandwich is a fusion of meats and vegetables from native Vietnamese cuisine such as cha lua, coriander leaf, cucumber, pickled carrots and pickled daikon, combined with condiments from French cuisine such as pâté along with chili and mayonnaise. However, a wide variety of other popular fillings are used from siu mai to ice cream. All right, let's try this. I really like this. It's just a perfect blend of flavors, the savoriness of the mushrooms, and the kind of freshness of the cilantro, and the crunchy cucumbers, and the sweet and sour and <laughs> everything of the pickled carrots and daikon. I think if I were to make this again, I'd probably toast the bread so that it's a bit warm. But other than that, this is great. This is perfect. In British humour, the phrase British Rail Sandwich refers to sandwiches sold for consumption on passenger trains of the former British Rail. According to former British Rail caterer Myrna Tuddenham, the poor reputation of British Rail sandwiches likely owed to the practice of keeping the sandwiches on the glass domes on the counters in the refreshment rooms until the corners turned up. In Greece, these kinds of sandwiches are called karavisas, which translates roughly to something that is on a ship, and means terrible and very expensive sandwiches like those sold on passenger ships. Yeah, it's both dry and soggy at the same time. It's, it's great, I nailed it. <laughs> it's a shit sandwich. Why did I do this? As a conclusion, one may say that the butterbrot is a type of open-faced sandwich using well-made savoury bread slices and with simpler, straightforward toppings. However, one of the reasons why the Germans prefer just butter and simpler toppings is because they take such pride in the quality and taste of their breads. I like mustard, so this is good. Admittedly, this is quite thinly sliced bread and also relatively light bread. But hey, I don't like German bread, so... Chickpea salad is a vegan sandwich filling with a texture similar to tuna salad? Chickpea salad consists of mashed up chickpeas, onions and other seasonings. Some versions also include tuna. This is nice. It is a bit on the celery side, but it's quite nice. The chickpeas do make it a bit dry and crumbly. Uh, it tastes quite like light, <laughs> even though it has mayo in it. But you know. A chip butty is a sandwich made with chips, i.e. French fried potatoes, on buttered white bread or a bread roll, often with an added condiment such as brown sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise or malt vinegar. Should have taken the bread out of the fridge earlier. It's quite cold. But other than that, great. Big fan. Can't go wrong with chips. Brown sauce works really well, um, especially with a 
dry bread. It's nice to have something that's a bit more saucy, a bit fruity as well. So yeah, it's, it's great. A crisp sandwich is a sandwich that includes crisps as one of the fillings. Crisp sandwiches are popular in Britain and Ireland. There are crisp sandwich shops in Belfast which claim to be the world's first crisp sandwich shop, as well as in West Yorkshire, both of which opened in 2015. This is actually more bland than I expected. Maybe I should have used more crisps. Maybe I should have used like uh, seasoned crisps. Like th these are just plain salt. It mainly just tastes of bread. I've definitely had a lot of crisp sandwiches in the past, but usually with paprika flavored crisps that add a lot more flavor. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But yeah, this one's kind of naff. As the thinness of the bread is a point of pride in the kitchen, a dense textures white Pullman loaf is cut with a white bladed knife, which guides the cut. Daylight should pass through the resulting fine pores. The peel of the cucumber is either removed or scored lengthwise with a fork before the cucumber is sliced. The slices of bread are carefully buttered all the way to the edges in the thinnest coating, which is only to prevent the bread from becoming damp with cucumber juice and the slices of cucumber which have been dashed with salt and lemon juice are placed in the sandwich just before serving in order to prevent the sandwich from becoming damp enough to moisten the eater's fingers. The crusts of the bread are cut away cleanly, creating tea sandwiches. Oh my. Forgot to put salt on this one. But other than that, it's nice, you know. It's just nice to have some like light, crunchy cucumber with some probably, probably ideally a bit thinner slices of bread. You know, it's, it's nice and refreshing and simple. Doubles is a common street food originated from Trinidad and Tobago. It is normally eaten during breakfast, but is also eaten occasionally during lunch or as a late night snack food and popular hangover food for local Trinidadians. Doubles are made with two barras, flat fried dough, and filled with curry chana, curry chickpeas, and various chutneys. Try not make a massive mess. I feel like I definitely got something wrong. I mean, no, I definitely did. I put way too much turmeric into the chickpeas, which might be why that's kind of maybe overpowering the rest of the um, flavors. But I can see this being really nice. Like I really like the bread, uh, I think butter they're called. They're, they're just really like nice and soft and chewy. Uh, the chickpeas, I like how they work on it but i just think i got the seasoning way wrong yeah this is my fault it's also very heavy <laughs> fairy bread is a sliced white bread spread with butter or margarine and covered with sprinkles or hundreds and thousands served at children's parties in australia and new zealand the origin of the term is not known but it may come from the poem fairy bread in robert louis stevenson's a Child's Garden of Verses published in 1885 and had been used for a number of different food items before the current usage. It mostly just tastes like cheap bread with a little bit of like crunchy sugar on top, uh, which is exactly what it is. <laughs> um, So there is no Wikipedia page for fruit sandwiches, but all the recipes I found were basically just like white bread and fruit and sweetened cream, so. Um, how to eat this. <laughs> mm. Okay, so this is very messy to eat. It looks cute. 
but at least in this form it's quite underwhelming. So it mainly tastes like bread and then the cream and fruit just kind of disappear under that. A shame really because fruit and cream are nice. In the Netherlands, chocoladehagelslag is used as a sandwich topping similar to moisjes and flocken. This is also common in Belgium and the former colonies of the Netherlands, Suriname and Indonesia. In Belgium, it is often called mouse strontjes, mouse excrements, due to the resemblance with mouse excrement. It's chocolate. It's nice. It's also a bit messy to eat, but chocolate. Toast Hawaii or Hawaiian toast is an open sandwich consisting of a slice of toast with ham and cheese and a maraschino cherry in the middle of a pineapple, broiled so that the cheese starts to melt. It was invented, or at least made popular, by the German TV cook Clemens Wilmenroth and is considered typical of West Germany in the 1950s. Yeah, let's get some cutlery. <laughs> this is this is silly. Yeah, the pineapple is very dominant in this one. Um, the sausage slice I have is very thin because cured ham is quite salty, so that would be a bit stronger. The cheese I have is also it's a bit cheddary but quite mild. Basically, I could just dump a bunch of salt on this. Let's try the cherry. I've never had toast Hawaii uh, with the cherry. Mm, that actually works surprisingly well. This is good. I might actually just have like cheese and jam. Yeah, that's not a new thing, is it? In Germany, ice cream sandwiches are made with two wafers and the three flavour combination called Fürstpückler ice, elsewhere known as Neapolitan ice cream. It is based on a recipe introduced in 1839 by the cook of a German nobleman, Prince Hermann Ludwig Heinrich von Pückler Muskau. Yep, it's nice. It's ice cream with wafer. I mean... Wikipedia says of the original uh, Neapolitan ice cream with made, was made with maraschino uh, instead of vanilla. So I put some maraschino in the vanilla ice cream and it really works well. Very nice. In North America, a chip which where ice cream, usually vanilla, is sandwiched between two chocolate chip cookies, is also popular. It is quite nice. I'm not sure if I should be using more ice cream, but I think that would be a bit inconvenient to eat. But I quite like it. It's just like a cookie, but a bit more refreshing. Marmalade is a fruit preserve made from the juice and peel of citrus fruit, boiled with sugar and water. The well-known version is made from bitter orange, but it is also made from lemons, limes, grapefruits, mandarins, sweet oranges, bergamots and other citrus fruit, or a combination. Good. Yeah, I really like marmalade because it's like sweet and bitter and a bit acidic it's just just a good just a good balance works well with like bland toast it's nice marmite is a sticky dark brown food paste with a distinctive powerful flavor that is extremely salty this distinctive taste is represented in the marketing slogan love it or hate it such is its prominence in british popular culture that the product's name is often used as a metaphor for something that is an acquired taste or tends to polarize opinions. Nice and savory. Can't go wrong with that, really. And yeah, not much more to say. It's just a nice snack. It is unclear since when or why the pambasso is prepared and filled in a very specific way. While other similar dishes changed the fillings and toppings, the pambaso recipe remains almost the same. 
The bread is first filled with the potato and chorizo, then dipped in warm red guajillo pepper sauce, which gives the bread its famous red-orange sprinkled coloration. Once the bread has been soaked, it is passed on to fry in a bit of oil. It's then garnished with shredded lettuce, salsa sauce, crema, cream, and queso fresco, fresh cheese. Yeah, this is really good. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not how it's supposed to be, like, at all. I think it's supposed to be a lot spicier than this. The texture of the potatoes is really nice. Um, and then the kind of freshness of the of the lettuce and the cream mellows everything out a bit, but it's it's really nice. I really like this. A peanut butter and jelly or jam sandwich (PB and J) consists of peanut butter and fruit preserves, jelly or jam, spread on bread. The sandwich may be open faced or made of a single slice of bread and folded over. The sandwich is quite common and popular in North America, especially for children. A 2002 survey showed that the average American will have eaten 1,500 of these sandwiches before graduating from high school. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always good. Just the sweetness of the jam and the nuttiness of the peanut butter works really well. Always good. Yep, not too sweet, just a really good balance. The ingredients of sabir constitute the traditional breakfast of Iraqi Jews on a Shabbat morning. It consists of pita or lafa, stuffed with fried eggplant, hard-boiled eggs, Israeli salad, parsley, amber and tahini sauce. How the heck do I eat this? Yeah, this is really nice. I like the soft texture of the potatoes mixing in with the kind of fresh and crunchy vegetables and then also like the soft eggplant and it's it works surprisingly well cold thought i would probably prefer to have this grilled or something but this is good what about is a vegetarian fast food dish native to the state of maharaja the dish consists of a deep fried potato dumpling placed inside a bread bun sliced almost in half through the middle. It is generally accompanied by one or more chutneys and a green chili pepper. Although it originated as a cheap street food in Mumbai, it is now served in food stalls and restaurants across India. It is also called Bombay Burger, in keeping with its origins and its resemblance in physical form to a burger. It's good. It definitely is good. I think the thing that stands out to me most is how soft the potato mash is, which I guess makes sense because it's mashed potatoes. The bread I'm using is the wrong bread, so uh, the the originally intended bread might complement that texture better. The sweet chutney works quite well. It works quite well with, with the green chutney together. It is, it is like all of the flavours. It is fruity and sweet, fresh and herbal, a bit spicy, a bit of salt, which the recipe didn't really give instruction like how how much salt to put into it, so I have no clue whether I used the right amount of that. (laughs) It's good. And garlic. Garlic everywhere. (laughs) A more novel way of serving yakisoba in Japan is to pile the noodles into a bun sliced down the middle in the style of a hot dog and garnish the top with mayonnaise and shreds of red pickled ginger. Called yakisoba pan, pan meaning bread, it is commonly available at kombini, convenience stores. Probably should have toasted the bread, which isn't mentioned in any recipe, but I think it would be better if it was warm or toasted. But it's quite overpowering. I mean, to be fair, it is, as you can see, um, most, most of the sandwich is bread. So maybe I should have put in more noodles? It's alright. It's alright. I think I prefer my noodles without bread. Although this is obviously a very convenient way to eat them on the go. I mean, it's alright. Like, it's not bad. But yeah, I feel like the, the bread is a bit too, too much and too bland. And Brendan, we'll see you tomorrow.